How's it going guys? My name is Jinjim and welcome to episode numero uno of GTA 5 mods. Hallelujah. This is what I've been waiting for. GTA 5 plus mods. It's gonna be perfect. But today we have manual transmission. Now, obviously all the cars in GTA are originally um, automatic. You can't really do anything about it. And it does kind of suck because when you're trying to go fast, you want to keep your revs up, you know, and sometimes the, the game doesn't do that. And also, it's just not as fun, you know? Driving manual uh, cars is fun. And that's what this mod aims to do. I mean, it, it, it tries to make cars manual. Now, it's, it, obviously, it's a little difficult, so we have to give it some leeway. But if you look in the top right, or top left, sorry, there's nothing in the top uh, right, you see one, clutch, and shift. The number one in green shows you what gear you are currently in. Clutch tells you if your clutch is engaged, see it? Clutch is on, clutch it off, clutch on, see? Shift tells you when to shift. Um, so, I mean, most of the time, it's like normal driving. I mean, here I am. I'm using a um, game controller, not my mouse and keyboard. So that's definitely something to note because, well, I'll explain. When you're doing things like this, you don't ever have to really shift. You can just keep on uh, doing some burnouts, whatnot, have fun. But if you go in a straight line for a while, like I will over here, there we go. I'm in the, oh, shit, plus. But if you heard that, I was in the top of my gear. See right there? I can't do anything, I'm going slow. I'm going like, what? I'm going about 50 miles per hour in first gear at 7,000 RPMs. Um, so, in order to engage the clutch, you push X, which uh, turns off your car. And then you switch to second gear. And there we go. And then pretty soon, that's also up there. I mean, it, it's pretty simple. If you know how to drive a manual transmission, yeah, 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 transmission, then you know how to drive this. Whoa. All right. So there's definitely some bugs. I'm not sure if you can see, but my car is kind of vibrating. I'm in first gear. I'm flooring the gas pedal, and I'm not moving anywhere. Don't know why that's happening. Um. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and try to reverse it by pushing X5. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now that we're on the topic of reverse, it's actually very, very, um, it's kind of buggy because, well, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. I cannot use the Xbox 360 controller to reverse. Right now, I'm pushing down the gas on my Xbox 360 controller. It doesn't do anything. But if I push forward on my keyboard, then it actually goes. Um, but it goes very slowly, as you can probably tell. So that's also... Move on my way, nigga! Nigga, shit! Shit! All right. But, um, yeah, it's very slow, but it kind of, like, boosts. See, see that? It's like, boop, boop, ha, boop, ha, boop. It, it's, a, it's a little buggy, but um, let's go and shift back into first. And it's still not driving. All right, so as you can tell... The mod is very buggy. I don't know what happened there. I've never encountered that. But um, if you're using an Xbox 360 controller, this mod does not work that great because, well, you can't program it to um, receive controls from the or inputs from the Xbox 360 controller. You can only change the configuration for keyboards. So every time I want to shift, I have to take my hands off my Xbox 360 controller and then shift. Oh, shift. Uh, there we go. Which, if I'm in a race going around corners, that's not gonna work well. Like, okay, I gotta shift down to first. Oh, I'm just gonna take my hand. Oh, there we go. And yeah, no, doesn't work very well. But if I'm starting from uh, no speed, you know, going zero, just listen and you can hear that it shifts automatically once. There's the shift. And then it's it. So, so technically, it, it, it seems like you're in second gear, not first gear. Let's show, I'll show you again. Here, I'll even do an interior view. Watch the uh, tachometer. Oh, shifted right there. But I didn't actually do any shifting. So I don't think it is a one-to-one -one match. As in, um, I think two two gears in the actual game means one gear in the actual mod. Because if I go ahead and go into second gear. There's one shift. And then it maxes out. There's one shift. And then it maxes out. So yeah, every every two gears in the actual game is one gear from the mod. So that's not spot on, but I think it's different for different cars because this car in game has like six gears, where some cars in game have like three, four gears, not three. What am I talking about? 
Let's see, another uh, another little thing, which isn't really bad, but um, little, another, another little thing I noticed is, um, so let's say I accidentally shift up to second gear too early and I hit on the gas, right? It doesn't start your car, but then it just goes fine. What it's actually doing, if you look closely, look at my character. Oh, he, of course he didn't do it, but um, look at my character. I go to change the radio station. That's what it, it does. So if I'm actually listening to the radio, so here, um, oh, I did not mean to do that. So then let's say I shift in the second too early, stop some music, and then it starts playing it again. See that? Here, I'll, I'll show you again. Oh no, I shifted too early. See? Um, so yeah, that's also a problem. With that being said, I totally understand that the mod maker is trying to make a game with automatic transmission have manual transmission, so I'm sure it's very, very difficult. Um, but I do hope those things get resolved in the future, because I'd love to see a flawless, um, manual transmission mod. So let me just go ahead and try to show you guys some runs, or attempts to, um, with a manual, manual transmission, and go! Shift second! Don't move, don't get in my way! Ah, oh, shit, okay. Shift a third! Excuse me, I'm just gonna... And shift a fourth! And that's top speed. Ah! I'm sorry. Shift back to first. So yeah, I mean, it, it definitely works. It definitely works. Uh, it's just a little buggy, and that's totally understandable. I think for now, the best use of this mod is just going to be drifting, because it is very annoying when you're trying to drift, and your car shifts in the second, and you're like, No! Nine! Dushlap! Don't want you to shift! Because you know, you know, you want the, the tires to keep on spinning, etc., etc. I'm sure there's a ton of drifting noobs out there that just don't know what they're doing. But uh, you know what, guys? That is actually going to end it for episode one of GTA 5 PC mods. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I uh, did did a good job at showing the mod. Um, if I didn't, go and leave some comments. I'll be happy to explain anything. The link to the mod where you can download it and whatnot is in the description below. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. Woo! Got some air there. Hold up.